Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears. We made it to Friday, and we've got our weekly Bear recap and a look at football's playoff game tonight. I'm Eric Eschler. And I'm Sophie Hislop. Today is Friday, November 3rd, and Good Morning John Burroughs starts right now. Welcome back. Football faces off against the Gura tonight at 7 p.m. Everyone will need to purchase a ticket, and ASB cards, staff badges, and season passes will not be accepted for entry. Tickets are on sale on the GoFan app for $5 for students. Remember that there will be no backpacks allowed, and all bags will be searched. Please make sure to enter through the home gate on Parish. Tonight's theme is neon, so come decked out in bright colors, and remember to be a good spectator for our team. If you want to support another program on campus today, Dance Team and Dance Pro are putting on their first show of the year. Hip Hop Explosion is taking place tonight at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. See the Dance Instagram account for more information and buy your tickets. If you're looking to join a spring sport next semester, two sports are looking for members. If you want to join boys volleyball, you must have an athletic cl uh, clearance and physical done through athleticclearance.com to try out. Tryouts will take place on November 6th from 3.30 to 6.30 in the Big Gym. Track and field also requires athletic clearance through homecampus.com. Complete it as soon as possible to practice with a team. Switching over to college and career news, if you're interested in taking a class at LAVC or GCC for the first time, come to the Career Center to sign up for virtual information sessions taking place today. Seniors, the JBHS counselors will be holding a college application workshop tomorrow morning in the computer lab from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. This event is a great opportunity to get advice on personal insight questions and personal statements, so do not miss out. Switching over to club news, the Christian Club meets today in room 2303. Women Against Violence is meeting today in room 1209 at lunch. Looking to next week, the Pre-Law Club meeting in lunch at Miss Hollingshed's room 2229. And next Thursday, November 9th, the Interact Club will be holding a fundraiser at Bob's Big Boy from 4 to 10. Dine in or order takeout and 20% of the proceeds will benefit the club. Well, we can't end our show without taking a look back at the local and trending news that took place this week. Here's a McKenzie with our Bear Recap. Good morning, Bears. Today we are focusing on some pop culture news from this past week. In music news, Taylor Swift released her new album, 1989, Taylor's Version, on October 27th, exactly nine years after she released the original version. The album has already sold over 1 million copies in its first week of release. This is the sixth time that Taylor Swift has hit this milestone. Looking at the holidays coming up, we have a top five list of the hottest items for the upcoming season sold through Amazon. The first item on our list are the lightsaber chopsticks, adding a touch of luxury while eating. The second hot grab item is a wireless mobile mini color printer, allowing users to print on the go. Another tech gadget is a desktop mini vacuum cleaner designed to pick up dust around your work area. Fourth on our list is a smart fragrance diffuser that controls the release of your preferred fragrance scent. Finally, the last product on the hot to grab list are personalized socks. Add a touch of humor to a pair of socks by personalizing a pair to have funny photos and other characteristics. Finally, in entertainment news, actor Matthew Perry passed away this past Saturday at his Palisades home at the age of 54. One of Perry's assistants found him unresponsive in a hot tub. LAPD Captain Scott Williams said, The cause of death may not be known for some time, but at this point, foul play is not suspected. Matthew Perry was best known for playing Chandler Bing in the NPC sitcom Friends 
from 1994 to 2004. Perry had suffered from addictions with drugs and alcohol abuse throughout his career. However, he said that he was sober for the last 18 months leading up to his death. That's all from me this week. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mackenzie. Make sure to come out to Hip Hop Explosion and the football playoff game to support our JBHS programs. That's all for us today. We'll see you on Monday for more. I'm Sophie Hislop. And I'm Eric Eschler. Have a great weekend, Bears, and a happy birthday to GMJB reporter Mackenzie Monahan.